Hello, this is a short little recording on transactions. Transactions are an important concept in working with databases. And in SQL, what you can do is you can group a set of SQL instructions together in a transaction. And the reason why it's useful is you can basically start a transaction saying, I want you to try these different operations in the database. And at the very end of your transaction, you can decide whether you want to give the command to commit all these changes to the database or roll them all back as if you changed your mind. So let me demonstrate it because I think if you see it in action, it'll be a little bit easier to un understand the concept of it. So I'm going to be working with the table road trip in the database. So I'm going to, my database is called books. I'll say use books and then I'm going to use the magic word start transaction and that's um, the syntax that you do in MySQL and so from this point on it's going to treat all my um, SQL commands as one group and at the very end of this I have to either say commit this transaction or undo it all so I'm going to show you the undo it all one first so let's say that um, that I have this table called road trips. And I'm going to, let's just say I, I'm going to do delete, delete from road trips, delete from road trip, where miles is less than 175, for example. So that looks like it'll delete two rows. And then I could have another statement here. Let's just do another one. Let's say um, delete from road trip where miles is greater than 1300. There's another statement. Now the next step I'm going to say is roll back. And that means I don't want you to commit these changes to the database. So watch what happens when I run this. So I ran it, and if you look down below here, you can see it did it. Use book start transaction, delete road trip where it's less than 175 miles. And this is where it's very useful. It tells you how many rows were changed. Oh, two rows were changed. Yeah, that's sort of what I thought. Delete from road trip where 1,300 miles greater than 1,300. One row is affected. And then I say, okay, roll it back. Now, the, the reason why this is so useful is because often your SQL statements are very complicated and you kind of want to do a dry run of them before you actually uh, commit the changes you're making. So if, if I try it out in a transaction, I can roll it back before, if it seems like it's doing something I don't expect. So for example, let's suppose that um, I really meant to delete road trips where the miles were less than 175 but somehow you know I messed up the SQL and this is just a silly example but let's say that I said this instead accidentally and then if I run this transaction you know I'm gonna see that six rows were affected and like oh that's the clue that I better not actually do this SQL that I was planning on it because I thought only one row was gonna be affected but I see that six are actually being affected so, you know, you can use this concept to um, ex examine what you're going to do before it happens. So let me just fiddle with this a little bit more. I could say select star. I could say select all from road trip after I've made some changes. And then I could do the rollback. And, you know, it, say I did this. You know, I can see, oh, that would leave me with no rows. But because I have the rollback there, it hasn't it hasn't really done it, right? I haven't really committed it. So right now, if I looked what was in road trip, I'm going to see all the road all the rows because I haven't really deleted it. So that's why this is such a valuable technique. Now let's just complete this. I'm going to actually do a transaction. So I'm going to say start transaction. And then I'll delete from road trip 
where miles is greater than 1370. And here I'm going to say commit. So this is this is actually going to do it because I use the, the statement commit. Let's get ready to do it. I'll clear this out. I'll let it go. And it did it. One row affected. I did the commit. And so if I look in road trip, it's removed that one. All right. So very quick thing on transactions. It's used all the time. I use them often in my job. I almost never would issue a SQL command unless I had prior tested it out in a transaction, kind of looked at the number of rows it's going to change and what it's doing. And then when I'm comfortable with it, I will switch that transaction from being rollback to being commit. So give it a try on this module and see if, if you like working with transactions.